Today I will show you how to connect your iCom wirelessly with your tablet or laptop or even desktop depending what are you using. For this of course you need a iCom, doesn't matter if it's a uh, cloned one or original. You need your computer, laptop, tablet, you need a router, wireless router or even your mobile phone and also the inet cable to connect the iCom to your computer. For this purpose I will use my tablet, it's an HP one and this tablet have only USB-C connections. So for this I need this adapter for connecting the inet cable. my tablet like so the end of the cable I'll connect it in my iCom and now I can connect the iCom to the vehicle it's not necessary it's not mandatory to have a vehicle to do this setup but you need to apply a power supply voltage to the iCom so if you have a bench test you can use that So now I'm connecting my ICOM to the vehicle. I don't need to switch on the ignition. You can see I have power supply. Now with my ICOM connected, I will open my tablet and I need to find out what IP address have my ICOM. To do that, I use iTool Reader. And you can see here my IP address it's 169.254.177.81 Next step is to open an internet browser, doesn't matter which one and you need to type here in the search box that IP address So my IP address is 169.254.177.81 and now, this is the IP address of my ICOM. To be able to connect with the ICOM and change settings, I need the getaway of the ICOM for the settings. So the getaway is two points, five, eight, and three zeros. And if I hit enter, I'm inside of my ICOM. You can see here the model, device name, device color, serial number, firmware and so on. My device color is red. You can change the device color from here. You can choose any other color you want. When you buy your icon from Factor brand new, in the box you'll have stickers with all the colors. I have choose red. Why you need this? For example, in a shop where there are more than one icon heads used, you need to know which head is yours and which one is not yours to be able to connect to your car. I will show you in a second when I will connect with this car with Ista. Your settings for the wireless connection is here, WLAN settings. This is very important. The country uh, is not important, mine is Germany, but the model is very important, the model, sorry, the mode. It's very important. You need to have 802.11n 2.4 gigahertz. The SSID name, is the wireless network name. So this is the wireless network name that this head will need to find to be able to connect. So our wireless network name is with uppercase letters ISAP. You can put whatever name you want to put here, but this is the official name used by BMW. Next, the security type. The same is very important. You need to use the security type WPA2 personal. The encryption type, the same, it's uh, ASC. And pre-shared key. This is the wireless network password. The wireless network password, the same, you can use any password you want here. But I will use the original password used by BMW. So the original password, it's with uppercase uh, B lower cases m w bmw uppercase a lowercase p oh lowercase p i said lowercase p 24 lowercase h bmw ap 24 h after you have done everything from here you can hit save changes and you can exit from this window. Now your ICOM had its setup for connecting to this wireless network. 
Next step on your, for example, you can use, uh, I don't have here the application to connect on this tablet with this router. I have it on the other one. Uh, but I will show you how you will do the settings in your phone. And I have here my Samsung phone. Inside of the, your phone, you will go in your, uh, where is it, mobile hotspot. You will enter inside of your mobile hotspot. And the same, network name. You will change the network name to the network name that this icon now expecting to find. So the network name is with uppercase S, I S A P. And the password, the same. B N W A P uh, 24 and lowercase h. The let me send this down. The band, the same. You need to select 2.4 gigahertz and the security, the same. WAP to personal. Save. Okay. Next step on your tablet, desktop computer, laptop, doesn't matter. You will go here in the wireless connections. You will select the ISAP network. Come on. The ISAP network and you will connect with the network. You will use the password BMWAP24H with upper and lower cases. Now I can disconnect my ICOM. I can disconnect from here. I need to unplug the icon from the power supply for a couple of seconds. Plug it back. Uh, now I need to see here the WLAN will need to flash when I will have a connection. And now it's solid and it's flashing. Next step, I will open BMW ISTA. And the same. Before I do that, I can find in my ITU radar the head. Now it's not showing it. Let's see if in BMW ISTA will appear. Let me see if the tablet is still connected to this network. Connect. The tablet was not connected because the tablet was connected with the head. That's why it was not connected with the ISAP network. Now it's connected. And if I will search the head, you can see my head, it's the red color and it's connected with the ICOM wirelessly using this phone. And you can see I'm connected with the car and I'm starting to do a diagnostic. And I think this was all about how to connect your ICOM head with your tablet, computer, desktop, depending what are you using. Uh, if you learn something new, if you like this video, please show me by hitting the like button. If you have questions or suggestions for different videos, uh, different educational videos like this one, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And with this, I want to again thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for being with me and supporting me. And until next time, you know the drill. Stay awesome. Bye now.